Michigan edition. We are back. I'm sitting here next to Doc Gage Amsler. I'm pretty proud of this gentleman here. We recently introduced, uh, by way of Hybrid Life magazine and a few other Michigan activists, uh, as a network. I think we've both seen it. Uh, it does exist. Michigan is a hotbed of uh, active activists and activity um, within the marijuana culture and without the marijuana culture. Um, I, that's a really neat book, Strains of War. It's a great title, I think. Yeah, I, um, actually, I actually have a ghostwriter that helped me write it. Really? And um, they actually came up with the name <laughs> 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 of, of it, but then I, they, I'm so glad that I did it. Um, but uh, my ghostwriter actually, uh, um, her name is Melissa DeSalza, she's actually a big actress. And stuff too. And she, they actually, once they heard about my story online, they actually sought me out because she's like, wow, this is like movie material. Right. And so they wanted to write, you know, write it. So they actually, the book is written kind of a first person in a way, but it's also kind of written where, like a screenplay, you know, throughout it. So that way it maybe, who knows, <laughs> you know, to do it. But right. she thought it, it would be a good movie maybe someday, but uh, I would love for that to happen. That would be great. I can see that with roles casting now, ladies and gentlemen, uh, Straits of War, or Doc Amsler. Stay tuned, we'll be right back. Roll the vote, Flint, Michigan. Michigan. I am Steve. I'm sitting right here next to uh, Doc Amsler. Uh, I was a combat medic in the 82nd Airborne Division from 1993 to 1997. Uh, that's my service record. I was honorably discharged and I returned uh, home years later. Uh, home here is Michigan. I'm a Michigan native myself. Uh, pretty proud of all the things that we're doing as far as Michigan and activism within the marijuana uh, field. I'm a firm believer that we're leading the way uh, in that direction. How, how do you feel? Uh, what's your observations about the Michigan uh, marijuana activists scene. Do you, do you see things happening, progressing? Do you see positive change? What do you think? What do you see happening here? Oh, it's amazing. Um, one one thing I've noticed is that uh, you know what I was asked one time. You know, who, who do you respect and who do you look up to? And, and you know, besides my daughter, of course. You know? <laughs> um, but uh, but the uh, meeting the people, the, the older activists, the people who really kept this going, like John Sinclair and people like that. And I respect people like that because they've been fighting behind the closed doors for so long. You know, and now they're just stepping out, and now because you know, it, it, it's like God, thank you for people like that because they're the ones that kept us going. But now that they, you know, kept that going so long, and they've been able to come out and really, you know, make a big difference. A lot of other people I've noticed now are really jumping on that because they now they're respecting that as well, and because of that, uh, it's helping. It's giving people more strength to come out. So yeah, I think that it, it is gaining strength. The movement's getting a lot stronger. Um, and, uh, and I don't think it's ever going to stop. I mean, it's, 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 it's on a train. Yeah. It's on a train, yeah, and I agree, I agree. Uh, Doc, man, it's, it's wonderful to welcome you to uh, the Michigan activist scene, and uh, we have open arms for you, man. I believe this guy has a mission. I believe that his book, Strains of War, is going to help open up some eyes and change some hearts and uh, allow you a look. I mean, I've, I've been reading it. It's a very engaging um, book. I don't want to share any highlights, but I'd like, to, I'd like to get to know the man behind the book just for a second. Um, coming out of the cannabis closet isn't easy. Uh, Post-service, you experience a lot of peer pressure that, that's pretty insurmountable. Post any service, I believe law enforcement, and coming out of the, the closet and telling your peer group that, hey, I support cannabis isn't, isn't very easy, is it, Dal? No, no, not at all. No, especially when you already have a, you know, like say for me coming from my background, being a firefighter, paramedic, and all that, it's like, you know, you? <laughs> it's, yeah, so it, it, it blows my mind, yeah. Sure, sure. Um, I'd like to, to know any kind of advice you might like to see. Yeah. One thing that you got to know about medics in the field is that uh, we just we got to get things done. You know, the, every option that we have available to us is an option that may save a life for 10 seconds. That 10 seconds may turn into a lifetime. Oh. Right? Uh, uh -huh. Yep, yep. Um, I was wondering if you might have any advice uh, to any young person out there who may be thinking about joining the military service uh, on a personal level. Any kind of advice you could offer our younger folks from your perspective, sir? Uh, 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 wow. Yeah. Yeah, that's a tough one in today's society. <laughs> um, <clears throat> if you're going to do it, know you're doing it for the right reason. Okay, don't, don't say I'm going to join the military to save the world, okay, I'm going to join the military to, um, you know, to, to protect the country, okay, you know, I mean, you, you do it for yourself, okay. The military is, is, there's so many different jobs in the military that 
I mean, they, they, you could really get a great opportunity to start your life. I mean, I came from, I came from the streets. I was living, I was literally living out of my car when I joined the military, you know, and they saved me, they saved me. It got me off the streets. Really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yep. All right, all right, there you go. So think about things, ladies and gentlemen. You know, people out there considering service. I, I echo what he's saying to you. Considering what you're doing, consider your actions, uh, think about it long and hard. I recommend a little bit of college under your belt first. Yeah, yeah, I would say, you know, it's kind of like, you know, you can't go to the military just to try it out. Okay, you're in, you're in. So, you know, make sure that when you do it going, you're doing it for the right reasons. But uh, but look into the jobs that, that, that are offered in the military. There's so many different types of jobs that you can do, um, especially now with a lot of you know, tech jobs. You know, um, it, so I think that uh, if you're going to go in the military, I think that um, it, it, it's definitely a great opportunity to, to get yourself started. But you know, there's other opportunities too. I mean, college is a great I think, You know, I mean, I I think that maybe school might kill kill creativity a little bit. <laughs> you know, but but that's the the military. You know, when you have that military standard, it carries with you forever. You know, and because of that, um, you, you you can't get that in any job. I mean, and so I think that you know, if just for that alone, I I would say yeah, I think the military is a great opportunity for someone that has four, at least four years to, uh, to you know, yeah. to learn something else. good. So there we go, that's, that's some post-service advice there, or some pre-service advice, uh, yeah, pre-service advice. Yeah. So I'd like to ask you, uh, post-service advice, uh, any recommendations? <sighs> kind of some, I thought it was a wide-ranging question. Yeah, it is, it is. Good. Well, post-service, especially post-war service, um, um, is, uh, I, I find a lot of guys, you know, um, it's hard to transition. You know, transition. Getting out of the military, and transitioning is is a lot harder than we think. Um, I I I I've had a hard time myself, and because of that, uh, um, your best way to, to, to do that is is support from other guys and, and other veterans, and that really is where most of your support is. And so I think that, that once you get out of the military, um, you don't stop being military. It's, and because of that, I think you need to continue having some sort of bond with that. I mean, you know, keep in touch with your guys or whatever. You know, go through the VA if you can. You know, find what um, programs are, that they uh, they offer. But uh, um, you know, I mean, mo I, I don't know a veteran, any veteran that's gotten in the military that has cut ties with any other veteran. So for me, it's just it's continuing the support. Continuing the support. Yeah. yeah. No, it's the biggest thing. Absolutely wonderful. Uh, stay tuned. We'll come right back with uh, more words from Doc Gage, author of Strains of War. We are here, Roll the Vote, Flint, Michigan. We are back. Thank you very much. Uh, welcome back to Roll the Vote, Flint, Michigan. I'm here with Doc Gage Amsler. Doc, uh, some last minute advice for ladies and gentlemen tuning in on the internet. Um, you know what? I uh, I opened this. I wrote this book um, to uh, I opened my life up uh, because I wanted people, other people, to learn from the things that I've been through. Um, I it, it wasn't easy to write, uh, but it's also therapeutic at the same time. Uh, but I put my heart and soul into this book because I want people to realize that uh, who I am, why I did what I did, uh, why I became an it switched everything from from everything I did to become an cannabis advocate and a farmer. On top of that. Uh, and this book explains everything uh, to a point, and it covers everything that's big right now in America. Cannabis, your PTSD, your veterans, um, the issues with the VA, uh, and it's educational. There's a lot of educational uh, in there as well uh, about cannabis. So, um, and uh, it's, it's, it's a great read. You know, I know I wrote it, but honestly... It's no, no, I'm going to agree with that. It's okay. You, you... Yeah, thank you. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this has been Doc. Dave Amsler. His book is Strains of War. Please uh, pick up a copy of Support Veterans. Uh, check out the farm that he's trying to do. He's created a veterans retreat that he's trying to build here in the state of Michigan. This is the gentleman who's got some acreage. He's trying to make things happen. He's trying to make a difference uh, by offering what he has. Kind of like what we're doing here in the city, he's doing out there at his property. So if you get a chance, look into him a little bit more, support what he does. Um, how can we reach you on the internet? How can we look yeah, up at Facebook? You? Of course, uh, Facebook. Uh, it's just go to facebook.com slash uh, the strains of war. The Strains of War. Thank you very much. Roll the vote, Flint, Michigan.